order it and of course I got it oh no bubbles sorry a tiny speaker an instruction manual and the case or shell Everything is described very well in the instruction manual with step by step. This one is the Bluetooth, audio Bluetooth receiver and a bunch of electronic components that I need to solder and that is the fun part. I need to solder on the printed circuit board. You can see on the printed circuit board that everything is marked where each component goes where. And right now I'm placing the resistors. So I will solder the audio Bluetooth receiver right here. I finished soldering all the electronic components on the PCB board and also I have added the speaker. Take a look. They look amazing. And they are laser cut plexiglass pieces. It's a little bit heavy for my solar turntable, but it's working and you can see it in 360 degrees. Turn out awesome. Yes, good. Great job, by the way, it's transparent Bluetooth speaker, it's awesome, let's try the next track, alright, sorry for this kind of music tracks, but I need to use them because of the copyright strike, nice, nice, I love it, no bubbles, Oh, the box is little bit damaged. Never mind, never mind. What is that? 63 amperes, 220 volts. Also, you can choose AC 110. Both links will be in description below, so you can check it. RGB. All right. Oh, DIN rail module. Ooh, adjustable. Overcurrent protection 1 to 63 amperes, delay on time adjustable 1 second to 3 sec 300 seconds, voltage meter, ammeter, rated voltage 220, frequency 50 or 60 hertz, error in real time current voltage 5%, powering in 3, 2, 1, oh, as it says, RGB, red, green, blue. Alright, so here I have all the symbols for adjusting the voltages, the current, the overprotection, everything you need to know. That can be set from 1 second to 600 seconds. Take a look. 8 seconds is the delay time. 
After 8 seconds, the bulb will be turned on. Beautiful. And at, at first speed, it pulls 4.2 amperes. But I set the protection over current protection at 7 amperes. And this heat gun at second speed it pulls 8 amperes. Take a look what will happen. It turn off. And now we have the delay time to be turned on again. I'm gonna set on first speed. Wait the delay time to or recovery delay time. We have how much more? 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And take a look, the heat gun is working again. You can see all the function settings that can be set on this module. And take uh, uh, pause the video, take a screenshot and you can read it. But the main functions that I love is over voltage protection, under voltage protection and over current protection. And also can be set the delay times. Of course, I got it. I do not see bubbles. Oh. But it's good that it comes in cardboard package. Oh, he, and they also include a foam. Take a look, nice. Here it is, the module that should be in that foam, but is it's not. With two quick charge USB ports, Type C for charging the battery, and in the middle we have LCD color screen. Also we have these tiny wires with temperature sensor for battery protection and it's looking nice one push button on the side okay dun, 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 dun. 360 of course let's see the specifications 22.5 watts okay can deliver 5 volts 3 amperes, 9 volts 2 amperes and 12 volts 1.5 amperes it says in the specifications that is nice protocol it says PD quick charge Apple FCP SCP and this VOOC I don't know what is it and we're gonna check that and test it and before I test this module let me share my coffee page where you can buy me one coffee to support my work and my channel you can do one time or you can be a monthly subscriber okay what it's on take a look what beautiful screen and it shows with big numbers 87 percent that the battery is full on the right side we have hours that is minutes i think can i reset it if i hold it no double tap and what is yes the second number of the percentage indicator indicator is blinking and is charging with almost one amper nice that is a trigger and you can choose different voltages 5 9 and 12 i'm gonna attach to the power bank module and take a look now we have 5 volts output Let's choose another voltage. Let's go this way. 12 volts. Can you see it? And let's choose 9. Also, 9 volts output. Using these switches, you can control the output voltage from the power bank module. And it will turn off because there is no load attached. Yes. Now... You can see that it's pulling 1.5 amperes. Oh, let's hook up. All right. 
it's working and now we have 1.7 amperes output 89% 8.6 watts and of course I got it no bubbles come on what's wrong oh, it's good that it comes in another box let's cut it Oh, bubbles! Ooh. Also, a cables. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Oh. I see the difference. Never mind, never mind. It's here and I like it. Beautiful amplifier module with Bluetooth. It explains some stuff about this module, which is amplifier, hi-fi MP3 player. This wire is the antenna for the FM tuner. Yes, it have also a, a FM tuner. The main power switch is right here. We have three buttons for, for controlling the MP3 songs, play, previous, and next also on these buttons you can control the, the volume. Alright. We have the infrared sensor. That is for the remote control that I don't have it. The micro SD card reader with the USB. We have a DC jack for powering the device that works it says from 12 volts to 24 volts we have left and right right channel channel audio input and we have three potentiometers for adjusting the the sound that is volume treble and bass and from behind everything is very well made only we need to attach these two cable connectors on these connectors that is the output two times by 15 watts and you can see right here that they are missing some electronic components and that is I think for 2.1 model this is only left and right stereo but it comes probably in 2.1 model the small antenna for the Bluetooth and that's it it's nice module this one you can place it on your box with your speaker 12 volts okay nothing happens that is okay and in 3, 2, 1 line in mode Ooh. Great, it's working. That is the first good sign that it's working. Okay, let me hold it. FM mode. FM mode. Line in mode. First, I don't want to scan any FM stations because I can get copyright strike. I'm going to insert the micro SD card with my very bad MP3 songs. But what I can do, this is just for testing. Line in mode. Music play mode. <laughs> you can control the volume with these push buttons but also you can control with the potentiometer for volume for the bass and treble next track Nice. Good, it's working. 
fine. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna try the line in mode. And yes, it's working. Also, you can add some volume on the potentiometer and you can mute the sound with the play or power button. Take a look. Power off. And of course, I got it. And don't forget, I upload new videos every day. No bubbles! Why? Include Type C USB cable for working gadget. Did I tell you I order orange? Oh, take a look how cool it is! It's a, like a tiny computer. At back we have the Type-C connector for powering this gadget. Come on, why is not... Okay, okay. I said that brief time team, beautiful. And by the way, this is perfect gift for upcoming holidays or for the new year or for the Christmas. And it's not expensive, it's around 10 US dollars. You can get it and you can surprise someone. Let's power it in 3, 2, 1. Connecting Wi Fi, Geek Magic Ultra. Voila, connected without internet. And yes, once you connected the Wi Fi, you visit the website. This is the IP address that is given. And here you can set a lot of functions like to connect to your network, the weather, the time, the pictures the photos that will scroll on this gadget which is nice and the settings and take a look oh. come on guys you must admit that this looks awesome with that digital clock the weather forecast here is the humidity and the temperature the date and take a look at this spaceman Let's go and see it. This is the weather forecast. Photo album. I like this one. And it's auto scrolling. For and also you can change the time to scroll. Beautiful photos and beautiful screen. I love it. Nice. Time style. One. This is the second. The third simple weather clock also you can adjust the brightness let's go back to this one okay you can increase it to be more brightness it have a night mode also you can set the night mode brightness at night with start time and end time right now is set on every five seconds to change from photo album to weather forecast to the main page and that is great this will be my favorite toy on my bench